welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my very first Halloween look for you and we're going in with a simple cat makeup. I've used all drugstore products so they're easily accessible and readily available. Um, it's quite an easy tutorial and you know once you get started you just um, creativity just takes over and it's lots of fun um, so I hope you'll stick around and watch how to get this fun cat face. Okay guys, we're going to start off by priming our face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer just to make sure that our foundations and everything else sticks on top. So we're going to prime our eyes first and I'm using the NYX um, eyeshadow base and this is just the skin tone one. And then I'm going in with two different Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow bases. One's a really sort of champagne-y shimmery colour, putting that all over the mobile lid and into the inner corner. And then the other one is a matte sort of mid-tone brown and I'm just running through the upper crease so you can actually see it in sort of a shape of an eye and winging it out and I'm just blending that in with my fingers. So the eyeshadows we're going to use today are from the Maybelline the Nudes palette. So the first shadow I'm going in with is a shimmery gold shadow and I'm just going to pack that all over the mobile lid and I'm also going to run that through into that inner corner as well. Then just going in with the two lightest matte brown shades of the palette and I'm going to be running them sort of above or on top of that cream shadow that we placed. Now I'm not being too precise about putting these shadows on and I'm just basically going in with darker colours and making everything a little bit darker and deeper and just blending it all out. Don't worry about how messy it is at the moment, we're going to clean it all up when it comes to the end. And I'm also now going to pop some of the real bronzy shimmery shades on a flat uh, shader brush and run that under my lower lash line. Now when I do this I'm actually going to start winging it downwards in that inner sort of corner so that it gives a more open cat eye effect. Um, so just basically tracing what your natural line looks like. So as I said before, we're going to clean things up and I'm just using some micellar water on a cotton tip and just making that angle really nice and sharp on that outer corner of the eyeshadows and just giving it a little bit more of a blend out and adding some more intensity of colour. Now we're going to add some a second wing from that bottom sort of lash line area and just mirroring, 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 can't say that word, that um, same sort of angle. Just going to tight line my waterline and my upper lash line with just a black coal pencil and just going in with a really bright shimmery sort of champagne and white colour from that palette in that inner corner and make it really nice and bright. Just going in with uh, toasted or toast I think it's called from it's a gold glittery sort of eyeshadow from e.l.f. Now we're going to do some winged liner. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is just going along the top lash line. Not going to worry about the third wing that we're putting in yet. I'm uh, just going to actually place the liner in and on that upper lash line. Make sure it's all nice and even. And I'm going to really clean up that line and area in there. Make sure there's, there's no shadow in there. So we've got this beautiful crisp area uh, to actually put um, the wing in. And I'm just really deepening up that outer area with that flat brush just so that we've got this beautiful area in there that we can pop in those that wing, third wing. It's just making sure it's all nice and perfected. And going in now and putting the third wing in. So just basically putting in a wing, trying to angle it in between those two other wings as well and then joining it up to the lash line as well. And just blending out those colours and making sure everything's all nice and dark and deep and looks amazing. And then I'm going to go in with my liquid liner again and the liquid liner I'm using is the Maybelline Master Precise and I'm bringing it right down into that inner corner as well so it gets a real cat eye effect. So I'm just going in with some really light bases today because we're going to be popping on a whole lot of extra products on top. So I'm just using uh, two Maybelline BB creams and also an Australis bronzing primer just to have that sort of nice glow to the skin as well. So just popping that all on with a Real, Te Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge, just blending it all the way down my neck. 
So just going in with uh, three different concealers. The first one I'm using is the Maybelline Adri one, and this is in the Brightener shade. So then just popping some of the Sand Maybelline Fit Me concealer on top, and also the Rimmel Highlighter Concealer in Ivory. And just going to blend that all in. And I have a little visitor coming into my room as well. My son came in and wanted me to do something. I told him he had to wait <laughs> until Mummy had finished. So at this stage, yeah. Um, we're going to start adding in the light and the dark colours now. So I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Sticks. So I'm using the highlighting one first and just popping it under my eyes, down the middle of my face, um, in the middle of my forehead and also on my chin and just blending it all out with that same sponge that we used our foundation on. So now we're going in with the contouring colour and I'm putting it in my temples, along my sort of contour lines, cheek, below my cheekbones and also down my nose. And I'm just going to blend that all out with an e.l.f. small stippling brush. Now this is takes a fair while, that's why I've made it go extra fast, but you just have to take your time with it, blend, blend, blend and just keep on blending and blending out all the edges um, and then taking it sort of up. That's why I didn't put so much on in all the areas like right around the side of my face and sort of in the middle of my forehead because I knew that those cream products would blend out to exactly where I wanted them all to. So just blending it all, make sure it goes all up into the hairline and along the jawline as well. And then I'm just going to use my finger to blend out the ones on my nose and I'm actually running it right up into where my brows are as well. So with my brows today, I'm just using um, a Maybelline Brow Drama, I think it's called. I'm using the Soft Brown first, and I'm putting on some major brows. So just filling it in with that, and then going in with the Dark Brown to really flick and make some massive, like, big sort of brows in there, and then just setting it all with the Maybelline Master Precise. Oh, no, so Brow Drama. And I'm just adding in some extra white sort of brows above my natural brows or my unnatural brows and um, just using the NYX um, eyeshadow base and this is the white one and I just popped it down the middle of my nose to highlight that area and under my eyes to make it all really nice and bright and white and stand out. So just going to set all of those areas now. So first the contour parts and I'm just using all three contour colours out of the Models Prefer contour kit and just sort of blending it around the edges so it's sort of blended out a little bit more and set all those products and then just going in with the yellow and the pinky sort of tone colour over the whiter areas. Just going to pop on some mascara now. I think I put about four coats on because I want really clumpy lashes for the that look and I just also set the rest of my face with the Models Prefer Luminous Glow Mineral Powder I think and just use some Essence Blush and I put it on the sort of middle of my cheeks, down my nose and also on my chin and I just used the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner to create my little whiskers. Now my camera stopped recording and I didn't realise it had so I just basically used that same product um, to create a little nose and then join the nose down to my lips and then just went across that top lip line. And I'm using a matte Rimmel Apocalypse um, lip colour to um, make my lips <laughs> look nice and cattish in that nice sort of deep red colour and I'm just popping on some little um, lashes, these are just the 747 smalls from Model Rock that have been cut in half, just popping them on the outside corners and just perfecting those lashes and we're all done. So what do you guys think? Um, all products that I've used today will be linked in the description box below. Yeah. So I hope you really enjoyed watching this tutorial today and I'm really excited to come up with some more fun tutorials for Halloween, which is not very far away now. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned because I'm going to be uploading a Halloween tutorial every Friday on the lead up to Halloween. Bye guys.